Hey guys, what's going on? Krosama here. And today we're taking a look at a pretty unique model kit, in my opinion. I actually really didn't know much about it until I saw it maybe a couple of years ago because uh, they kind of talked about it. I know I've seen pictures and imagery, but finally got it in model form. So this is going to be the Moderoid 500 Type Ava. This is from the Shinkan Lion series, which is a children's show about transforming Shinkansen trains. And it's it's unique, to say the least. Um, I really love the look of the Ava Shinkan Lion. I think it's really cool. There's obviously another 500 type that's the same exact molding and model, but it's just not the Ava colors. It's its own little thing. Now, I would like to give a shout out to NewTypeHQ.com. They're not going to be having these particular kits in stock, at least not that I know of. I can go ahead and reach out and see if they can get these in stock. However, you can still go there and pick up some other model kits. And although it may not be Shinkan Lion, I don't even know how many people that's watching this is actually really into the TV show. But you can still go there and check out some of other Ava kits, such as the real grades or even the metal builds. But regardless, go over there, check out the site, and you can do slash Krosama. So that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. Now, like I mentioned, Shinkan Lion, pretty much a series I really haven't got into. It's a children's show about trains. Really cool looking show, to be honest. It's a lot like, um, I would say, LBX or even Gundam Age in terms of its uh, animations and just the, the art style. I think it's really cool, but it's just not my cup of tea. However, Evangelion is my cup of tea. So, which leads me to this. I actually did build one Shinkan line before, but I can't say I really loved it. I think the model kit itself was really flimsy, kind of fell apart at a lot of areas, and just the overall molding was not impressive. However, I decided to give it another chance because this is the more recent release of the Shinkan Lion Moderoid series. So I'm like, you know what? It's been quite a few model kits of this line. Maybe they've improved. And I'm here to tell you guys, it actually has. But before we get into all those details, let's take a look at the unboxing. Now, right out of the box, if you're just going to do the stickers and that's it, no panel lining, it still is going to look good. I haven't panel lined mine. It's something I do want to do a little bit later because I was going to paint it, but I scrapped that idea. I think it's going to look pretty much okay as is, just with a little bit of extra panel lines and the top coat. So I'll do that later. But for now, right out of the box with just the stickers, it looks good. It doesn't have any like major underlining issues with the stickers. They all go on very smoothly. There's no like major uh, wrinkles. You will notice a little bit on the chest and on the shield 
they have like the sticker that has the white outline that doesn't really match with the actual plastic the plastic white is a little bit more of a off-white i would say so it's definitely a mismatch whereas the sticker white is going to be a pure white uh, a little bit unfortunate but i can honestly work around that now how was the build construction Honestly, the build construction was completely fine. I had no issues putting together the instructions read very easily, very simplistic. Uh, I would just say be careful because the plastic does feel, uh, I would say a little bit weak. It feels like it was just 3D printed and not really cleaned up very well, just in some parts. So just be mindful, put it together. Uh, the plastic is not going to be as great as Bandai's plastic. So ju just be aware of brittleness if there is any indications of that. I haven't seen any plastic have uh, stress marks, but just the way that I cut it and, and sanded it, I do think that if you're too rough with the plastic and you're bending it in a really odd way, you will probably see this kit being prone to breakage or any kind of stress fractures. Now surface level details are going to be great. You're going to have a lot of panels just all over and you're going to have a lot of like remnants of what the Shinkansen actually has, which is like all the doors, the windows. Uh, you're going to have a lot of the different panels. It looks great. And you can still see like the the wheels from uh, underneath the Shinkansen that's going to be on the actual robot. So you see it on the arms and just in various places, which is really good because this thing doesn't transform. But seeing a little bit of the, you know, alt mode in the robot mode is going to be a delight it's something i really love especially when it comes to the transformers line like the yamaguchi optimus prime still seeing a lot of those key features of the alt mode on the robot is just something that i really want i don't want it to be a complete smooth robot with everything of its alt mode completely hidden and you're like does it even transform but in the lore of things you can look at this and say yes this 100 percent does transform in its lore it's just that in the model mode it doesn't. Now let's move on to articulation. Honestly, most things are going to be ball joint oriented, like the head, you got the shoulders, which are ball joints. Um, I think the waist parts are all going to be ball joints. I can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure these are all going to be ball joints. Uh, you got ball joints for the side skirts. That's you know, pretty much fine. I actually don't mind ball joints being a predominant usage when it comes to articulation. The only areas I'm really concerned about when it comes to ball joints are going to be the hips. Thankfully, these hips are not going to be ball joints. They're going to be kind of like the uh, the little socket, the, like the peg and socket uh, gimmick. So I like these. They have a good range of movement. They're very tight. They're not loose whatsoever. Um, in all honesty, nothing on this kit is really going to be loose. I never had an issue posing it, even with all the crazy weight in the shield and the crazy weight uh, kind of like in the front and on the legs. Never really have any issues posing it whatsoever, which is a delight because when I pose my kits, I try and be as dynamic as possible. So having this thing just go crazy and and have like the legs spread apart as wide as I can and, and doing some, you know, like thrashing and, and, and kind of, you know, jousting poses. It's really nice. And it's definitely comforting to know that when they built this kit or when they designed this, they had it in mind that they wanted the joints to be as tight as possible so you can achieve all these dynamic poses. Now moving on to accessories, we're going to have the Lance of Longinus. Pretty sure I'm butchering that, but uh, the Holy Lance, if you want to call it that as well. But it's really nice. It has like a mechanical look to it, uh, which is definitely not how the original one from Evangelion is. It still looks good, though. Um, kind of has like a traffic light kind of vibe to it. I'm thinking that's exactly what it's kind of modeled after is um, basically the train traffic lights or train signs. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's kind of like what I'm, I'm getting the vibe of. It looks good, though. Um, don't really have any major issues. You're going to have a hand that is going to be directly um, linked to it. So you, you basically just have this hand and you attach the lance to the hand. Uh, unlike most accessories where you slide the weapon into the hand, this one is definitely going to be opposite of that. Next we're going to have is the shield, which also acts as kind of like a uh, missile launcher compartment. 
looks great. Is looks like it's the back. I would say probably the back of the Shinkan Sen. Looks good. Uh, no major issues. A lot of it's going to be made up of stickers. You see a lot of stickers on this thing. But much like the Lance, you're going to have a hand that's going to have the handle that directly attached to it. So you're not attaching anything into the hand. The hand is attaching to the shield. But looks good. The only major problem is that it is going to weigh the arm down. So you can pull off some really cool looking poses, but you're going to have to get it in the right angles for it to stay in a more aerial kind of pose. Uh, if you put it downwards, you're not going to have any issues. But once you bend that elbow, um, you are having it prone to just kind of drooping down. Shouldn't be an issue, but uh, just be mindful of that. Now, in terms of size, it's not really that large. It's a little bit larger than the Shinkan Lions that have come before it. It's also a little bit taller than the average high-grade Gunpla, but it's not going to be taller than a master-grade Gunpla by any means. It does look good for its size. You're packing in a lot of details. It, it's really a good figure, or I guess good model kit slash figure, because this thing really does feel like a figure once you have it complete. But it feels really good, and for the price tag of about 4,500 yen, I think it is definitely going to be worth the price. It's also going to fluctuate depending on where you're located, because obviously people outside Japan, you might be buying this for a little bit more because it's a specialty. It's not something that is a really normalized model kit that's going to be going out there. I, I don't think I've ever really seen it on shelves, to be honest, since I've been out here in Japan. I've uh, gotten mine from AmiAmi. Not necessarily, well, it's a free plug-in, so <laughs> if you uh, do want to shop at AmiAmi, I think they're really great. Um, definitely is not sponsored by them, but I do purchase a lot of uh, Japanese goods from them. But if you're from other areas, you might be paying a higher penny if you're missing the uh, initial release or even the reservation. So, unfortunate, you might be paying a little bit more than 4,500 yen. But this is something I think is going to look really good on the shelf if you have an Evangelion shelf, much like I do. Um, I'm kind of building mine up, and soon I might have to replace other shelves, such as maybe one of my uh, my Gundam Seed shelves. I might have to pick up some of those to put more of like the real grade Avas on there, or even some of the other uh, model kits and toys I'll be getting in the future. But I really do love it. It has some uh, pretty good uh, shelf presence, I would say looks good it doesn't have any uh notable errors uh maybe just some of the gate placement i would say is going to need a little touch up such uh, as the purple but the gray and the white you're not going to see any remnants of nubs if you clean it properly but if you just leave the nubs there obviously you'll see it but regardless i think it looks great i think it has um I think Madaroy has come a long way since the first Shinkan line they released, and I do hope they continue the line with uh, a little bit more promise. They do have some that is coming up in the near future. Uh, I know there's one in December I'm definitely going to be getting, but for the most part, I do think that they have done a great job with this model kit, and they need to just keep this momentum going. Don't just slack off because you had a couple of good kits. Please, you know, uh, good small company, keep on doing good by this line. And if you keep doing good, hey, maybe I'll go ahead and watch that show and I might get motivated to get some of the other merch. But for the time being, I think this is definitely something that's going to look pretty good on my shelf. And I'm actually very happy with the final product. So I'll leave the question to you guys. Are you, you know, looking forward to getting this kit? Is this something that you want to get for yourself or is this going to be a pass? So let me know in the comment section below, and like always, stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.